So today we're just going to strip off some of the ancillaries off the engine. That'll include the uh, aircon, power steering, uh, probably the water pump, idler pulleys, and the oil filter and oil cooler on the side here as well. So that should take a bit of weight out of the engine, make it a bit easier to handle. So we're trying to get off the main crank pulley here, but when you try and loosen it, the whole engine is turning over. So what we need to do is take off the clutch again, so that we can put something into the, uh, into the flywheel here, so that we can um, brace it with a breaker bar or something like that, and then we can get the tension on the other side. So it looks like we're taking off the clutch again. So here's all the parts I pulled off the engine today as part of the engine prep. We've got the uh, water pump, the alternator, an idler pulley, as the power steering pump here, uh, the aircon unit, uh, the compressor, and this is the uh, crank pulley, and this is the um, oil cooler and uh, oil filter. So this bolt here was pretty tricky to get off. Managed to get it off with a very long breaker bar. Bruce has actually sent me on the, the instructions which is very clear and well laid out. It's divided into different phases. So for example in phase three, it's all about engine prep. Um, so that's what I've been doing today. The next phase of it is to get into the actual engine dress, so adding on all the extra parts. And what I uh, noticed from the instructions was uh, the recommendation is to fit the adapter plate, put on the clutch, uh, the flywheel and clutch and everything in the assembly that I've done in the last video. And then it advises to uh, put the uh, engine on a stand like I have it here, so you can turn it over, you can change the sump over, fit the starter motor, things like that. But I would say there's a, a, a little uh, mistake in there. I'd recommend that they change this around because you can't actually fit the, uh, the engine stand onto the engine when you have all the clutch assembly and everything on the back of the engine. So I just have the, uh, the adapter plate here on and then the engine stand attached to that. And I'll work on the sump and the pickup pipe and everything there, the uh, start motor, and then I'll attach the clutch after that. So uh, hopefully everything goes well. Come on.